I was fortunate enough that at a very young age, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and that was economics. I got passionate about economics when I was in high school, and have pursued that passion since, except with one difference, which is that I have not gone and done a PhD as most people who are passionate about economics have done. Instead, what I did after graduating from college is join the profession of investing. And there, the term they use for me is a macro investor, which is what I do is to use macroeconomics while investing. And that is how I've pursued my passion for economics all these years. The result is this new book I'm coming out with, The 10 Rules of Successful Nations. This book is in many ways an adaptation of a previous book I had written called The Rise and Fall of Nations. The difference here is that what I have done is crunched the book into 10 rules that you can easily understand that any practitioner uses to make money out of economics. So that's what the 10 rules of successful nations is about. The 10 most important things you should look at to know if a nation is gonna rise or fall from a practitioner's standpoint. This is different from an academic standpoint in that I have tried and tested these rules in the marketplace. And based on my experience, I've come up with the 10 rules that really matter from politics to the importance of geography to even wonky concepts like debt. How do you sort of read concepts like debt? How much debt is good for a country? How much debt is bad for a country? Is the level of debt which matters or the increase in debt? And then some common sense rules such as the hype rule, which is that if you have too much hype about a country, what does that tell you about its future? How do you sort of gauge hype? This is all based on empirical evidence and how I have gone about the investing process for the last 25 years of my career as both an investor and a writer.